Hi, uh, we're at the Covent Garden Market and we're going to talk to Bob Usher, who is the Vice President and General Manager of Covent Garden Market. Bob, how are you doing? Just great, thank you. Good. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about the market. The uh, people come down here, you know we're over 55, so we do have a sort of a tendency to go towards the more the boomer and above. Well, let, let me put it to you this way. For over 55 uh, individuals that are looking for quality, looking for great product, looking for service, attention, it's all here at the market. Every one of our vendors here at the market are owner operators. Uh, they pride themselves in dealing with you, the customer, and getting to know you. You probably, if you come down here, you'll get to know who our vendors are, you'll get to know who the owners are of the stands, and you'll also get to know, and they'll get to know you. Um, Many of our customers are known by Sally, Bob, and George, etc. It's not just, hey, how are you? It's, it's you know, they become family also. It's a warm, inviting environment. And the nice part of it is there are no chains here in Covent Garden Market. They're all owner, operator, individually run businesses. That's great because I, I come down here a lot. I really enjoy the atmosphere. And you're right, it's a, it's a family feeling. It's, a nice, uh, it's nice to get to know who you're dealing with on a regular basis. I know the big chains have to do their thing, but here you get that personalized touch. And I think that adds to the market. Well, not only a personalized touch, but also a quality level. We pride ourselves in you know, affordably, fresh, friendly, and local. And what we mean by local is we also have a farmer's market during the summer months. It's winding down a little bit now and we're and actually our farmer's market, you'll actually get to meet the farmer. Because one of the things that we pride ourselves in here at Covent Garden Market and on, on Saturdays and also on Thursdays we have our farmers in on the outside on our square. There is no one out there that isn't a farmer. There's no resellers. We are London's only true farmer's market so, on, um, on the outside of so our building. From the field to the stand. You got and it. And there's no in between. And pretty well, most of our uh, vendors here inside, certainly from a produce, all of our vendors from a produce standpoint can tell you where the product came from. 99% of that product is not coming from uh, some food terminal in God knows where or been shipped all the way from wherever. There are times of the year that there'll be some of that product because you can't get fresh pineapples in Canada, you no. know, but uh, certainly our vendors know where the products come from and you won't see anything but fresh and affordably friend and friendly, friendly vendors I here. And I think that's important because uh, it's nice to know it's locally grown produce, it's Canadian, uh, and that's important. I like to shop Canadian and buy Canadian. Now, can you give me how many, any idea how many vendors you have in the market? Well actually there are 51 different vendors here in the market with a very diverse uh, service levels here. There's everything here from a shoe repair to uh, there's actually a tailor. We even have a, mas a registered massage therapy unit. We have a kids theater, kids professional working theater. You can actually come here and watch some of the most up-and-coming young people in in London area and, and southwestern Ontario actually performing live here on stage because we have an actual theater with, with a full stage. We have artists here, we have organic food products, we have fish, meats, vegetables, cheeses. Uh, we believe we have about the largest selection of international and local cheeses um, and meats and just about everything you can possibly think of. There's a variety of product from just about every ethnicity, but the difference is it's local and it's friendly and it's people. You know, if, if you look at our building, the difference between us and a grocery store or, or the big box and the chain, and if you're over 55, that's the way life used to be. You went to your local corner grocery and you knew the guy that was there, you knew the butcher was Joe and Bob and whoever. Here's the same. That's exactly that's what it's all about. And it's a throwback in a lot of ways to what society used to be like. Today, you can have that again. And you know what? Whether you're over 55 or not, a good percentage of our customers are now younger individuals who really have never experienced it and go, wow, isn't this great at the market? That's true because uh, I grew up in that era and we did. We went to the local butcher store and it got to, it was that personal touch. Mm -hmm. And I noticed you mentioned the children's theater and you also have a seniors group that comes here, is it Tuesdays every week? Yes, there's a seniors uh, gathering center here on the uh, second floor of the market and it is every Tuesday and it's from uh, 10 in the morning till 12 or till 12 or 1 o'clock actually and it's uh, very well attended. It's a lot of fun. Uh, there's actually on that day if you actually drive into the market uh, the seniors group will give you free parking compliments of the market um, so it doesn't cost anything and the other thing about the market is if you're afraid to come downtown because you think whatever it's going to cost me a fortune during the week and there's no um, during the week and on the weekends there is some free parking. There's no 
purchase required. You get valid if all you do is you validate your parking ticket and you get a half hour off your parking cost. And on weekends, it's two hours free parking. I take advantage of that. I sneak down here at uh, get my lunch and go back to the office with it because I like the fresh food here. Right. Uh, it's nice to know that you have everything and more because people might think of a market as just the produce and that, but with well, the children's cedar, masseuse, I mean, that, that's fantastic. The market is not just about retail sales. The market and part of our mandate is to be part of the community. So in fact, if you actually come down here, especially during the summer, there's, there's always something happening during the summer. We have a tremendous number of festivals that take place, everything from an East Coast festival to an Italian festival. Gosh, our Italian festival, there might be 30,000 or 35,000 people that come through on a weekend. We have a festival of, of India, we've got a Polish festival this year coming up. Uh, we've got all kinds of different festivals uh, that are just a real hoot and a lot of fun. I was here a few weeks ago when they had the uh, uh, street hockey competition. Yes, yes. Those guys deserve to be in the NHL. They are hot. I mean, well, let me put it this young. way. I don't care if I was under 55. There's not a chance I'd compete against some of the guys that were here. But it was a good hoot, yeah. and it's a lot of fun, and it was a great fundraiser yeah, and for it, Easter it, Seals. It is. You do yeah. all different types of fundraising as well yes. as the market. And I think that, that adds a little extra to the market. Well, we also work along with a lot of the charitable organizations because we rarely say no to a, a not-for-profit or non-profit organization that needs some help. Uh, the, Rotary, uh, the Rotary Clubs of London sponsor a... Uh, a rink here so in the winter time you can come skating here for free well thank you bob that was a great interview uh it's nice to know more about the market that maybe people didn't know before and i appreciate your time thank not you not a again. problem at all